Hi everybody, Bill1911 here. Today we're going to look at a very simple little gun. Um, this is built by a company called Astra and it's imported to the U.S. by Interarms of Alexandria, Virginia. This is a 22 long rifle. Um, it's very, very similar in outward appearance to the Walther PPK, which I happen to have an example of that one right here. As you can see, shape-wise, they're very similar. Okay? But they are different guns. Now, the way they function is also very similar, and that's why I'm going to do three videos in a row uh, on these three guns. This one, the Walther PPK, and I'm also going to, in a third video, I'm going to cover the Makarov uh, pistol. Uh, it's, it's also a good gun, but these are very, very simple in the way they work. These are direct blowback. They're not the delayed blowback type or anything else. Or if you prefer, uh, uh, locked breech short recoil is the same as a delayed blowback. So, as is always the case, the first thing we want to do is we want to verify that there is no ammunition in the gun and that there is no ammunition present in the work area. All right, so we are empty. Now, to take this apart, uh, it has these two little buttons, okay? One is here and one is on the other side. These have to be pulled straight downward at the same time. Okay, let me do a better job of showing you those. This is the first button. That's the second button. These have to be pulled straight downward simultaneously. It can be a little bit awkward, so what I'm going to recommend is you hook your middle finger through the trigger guard and put your fingers on these buttons on both sides and pull them down, okay? Rest the butt of the gun on your cleaning mat, pull those down and pull the slide all the way back. Lift up on the back of the slide and then let it run forward, okay? And it'll come right off, all right? Now, if you look, get the light in the right position if I can, all right? If you look, this button is actually a block of steel that goes all the way across underneath the barrel. What that does is present, prevent the barrel from going all the way back to the frame here, okay? And what that means is that the slide rail is still hooked here. Once this is pulled down all the way, the back of the slide rail can come all the way to the back and then be lifted off, and that allows it to come off the gun. Okay, this is something important that you can get in trouble on with these, and that is the recoil spring. The recoil spring on one end is extremely tight. It just barely fits onto that barrel, okay? It's, it's tight. You kind of got to push it on, all right? The rest of the windings of the coil are larger than the, diam the diameter of the barrel, which allows them to move freely up and down the barrel, all right? And that way it operates as a recoil spring. If you put it on the wrong way, if you put the big end on first, what will happen is that spring will come all the way down to the barrel and it will jam onto that barrel and it will not recoil properly. You will not cycle, okay? In other words, it's not going to pull the, the old cartridge out and put the new one in like it's supposed to. So you have to remember if it doesn't fit onto that barrel tightly, you've got it on the wrong way, okay? It's a one-way spring. you got to do that right. Okay, so the gun is extremely simple. To clean it, you take the slide off, you take a patch, you wet it in your gun, in your gun solvent, okay, and you clean this gun up, all right? You go through and you get all the dirt out of it that you can find. All right, clean it right up. I love this gun, it's a pretty little thing. The, the 
finish on it is exceptional. It's just beautiful. It really is. It's a nice little gun. All right, so we clean everything up. We're going to run a 22 caliber patch through that bore. So let me get one out of this kit over here. I cleaned this thing just the other day, but I'm going to put a patch through it anyway. Now, normally, I would wet the patch with my gun solvent, and I would either put it on my jag or on my 22 thimble, and I would simply take it and push it right through the barrel, all right, from the breech end. All right, so we're going to shove it right up through there and make sure that, that barrel is cleaned out, okay? Make sure everything's clean. So, once I've mopped it with the bore, um, bore scrubber or bore solvent, okay, then I'm going to take my thimble off, put on my 22 caliber brush, and I'm going to push that through the barrel. And that's going to make sure that all those lead deposits are cleaned out of that barrel. Okay, that's going to get me nice and clean inside. Okay. Um, after that, I'm going to take another patch, a clean one, and I'm going to dry the bore with it. I'm going to put my thimble back on and dry the bore. Now, if you have a jag you'll get a much cleaner job on drying out that bore if you use that jag. All right, so we're going to put it on a jag and we're going to push that through the barrel. All right, and nice tight fit. I mean, it takes everything out of there. All right. Okay, after that, I'm going to take yet another one of these 22 caliber patches. And I'm going to put a little bit of that gun oil on it. Put it on my jag first. Get on there, you stinker. There we go. And I'm going to put a little of this oil on that. And I'm going to run that oil through the bore. And that's going to prevent any rust from forming inside that barrel, which is now very dry. Okay, so we're going to... Push that through. Okay, and that's it. We've cleaned and oiled the bore on this little 22. And now... We're about ready to put it back together. So, we're going to use our gun oil now. And in all these places where we can see where there's shiny metal, where it's been wearing against other parts, we're going to put a little tiny drop of oil in there. Okay. Now remember, you don't want to over oil your gun because you don't want it to be slippery in your hand but you also don't want to under oil it. You want to make sure that you've got enough in there that it's well lubricated. Now these little drops of oil will spread out. They're kind of like a penetrating oil. So you don't have to go crazy with it, but you do want the oil in there. And there we go, and that should do everything, okay? The only other spot would be this block right here that holds the gun together. All right. Now, after we've done that, we're going to want to get a little bit of oil on this recoil spring because it's pretty. It's actually pretty dry. Now, there's a couple ways you can do that. Um, you can take that patch or get another one, whichever you prefer, and get some oil on it. All right, I'm going to put a few drops on here. All right. And I'm going to simply put it through the windings of this spring. And 
just pull it sideways through it and kind of wrap it around the wire okay and then I'm just going to turn it just keep turning it and that's going to put oil over the entire surface of that spring it's not going to put a lot on it but it's going to put enough that it's going to be well lubricated and that's just about done all right so now the spring is oiled okay and remember the tight end goes on the barrel first okay what I also like to do is put a couple of drops on the barrel itself on the outside of the barrel my hands are shaking look at that all right there we go once we've got it oiled we're gonna put the slide back on the gun it's the inverse operation of how we took it off now one of the things that quite frequently happens is you'll pull that barrel all the way down to the end you'll have that block pulled out of the way and the barrel goes it seems or the seems like the slide is all the way down in the back but yet it doesn't come back forward and you think what the heck is wrong well what's wrong is that you didn't get the barrel down in the back quite as far as it needs to be all right so now again I'm gonna hook my middle finger through that trigger guard so I can hold it and pull those two latches down I'm gonna rest the butt okay pull those latches down and pull that slide all the way back make sure it goes all the way to the bottom remember your hammer is going to tend to want to push it up a little bit and it's not going to want to come forward very well but once you get it all the way down it slides right back into place and you can let go of that lock and it stays locked all right so recycle it a few times make sure everything's moving the way we want it to okay and that's it our little Astra Constable pistol is all set hey if you've enjoyed this video if it's been helpful to you and entertaining please don't forget to hit the like button and by all means subscribe and when you're done with that come and visit us at askbill 1911 dot com hi bill nineteen eleven here today i'd like to talk to you about something that's very important to us and that's your safety do not attempt any of the things you see on our videos until you have thoroughly reviewed and understood our safety procedures also if you're under eighteen years of age do not attempt any of these topics without the consent of your parent or guardian. Thank you.